Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report, and we're going to do a quick walk around. We're about to start a project with one of the leading off-road lighting manufacturers in the world. They ask for uh, a front-on view, a side view, a rear view, an interior view, and I said, you know what, I'll send you all those pictures, but why don't I walk around and uh, kind of let you see it. And I apologize, we're losing daylight, so uh, I've got the light hooked onto the camera here, and I'm really just going to walk around. I thought, uh, why not share this with everyone? May as well go ahead and post it and let everyone see where we are with the Custom Combat Trucks light bar here. Uh, we've got some some cheap Chinese LEDs for side facing. We got some military infrared lights. I think some folks call these armored lights. I'm not sure. Um, it's an incandescent bulb behind it with a, uh, an IR blocking uh, lens here. We're gonna run that off a of 24 volt. This 52 inch LED light bar is really just kind of a placeholder. I wanted to get something up here since uh, since we have the custom combat trucks light mounting bar i wanted to get something on it while we're waiting on this project to kind of flesh itself out with the big premium lighting company uh, that shall remain nameless for the time being you, you'll know soon enough who we're working with i'll post some measurements on this light bar as well but uh, one of the questions was wanting to see what it looked like uh, it's got this expanded metal and you can see how I've just bolted straight through the expanded metal. I'll show you the bottom here in a second. I've done that on all three of these lights. And you know, they, there's a little vibration potentially, but they're pretty darn solid. You can see how that's just bolted straight through with some washers. The light support bar is bolted on with the rear view mirror bracket bolts. So here's the bottom one. The top one is only two. It's going into a, a nut cert in the windshield frame. And we have a little bit of distance here where, you know, potentially if we needed to drill a hole to put something in, we could. These LED lights, uh, there was one on each side on top of this mirror before. That actually worked pretty well. We have a little bit of a gap. So when the driver is looking out the window, at the mirror back here that gives us a little space here if we had like a hand controllable light for you know when we're hog hunting or coyote hunting and you know whether it's an ir light or a white light all right here's the side in the back i'll post a picture of the side rails that used to be on here since we have converted to the four-man configuration we're going to cut those down so they're short enough that we can remount that here it also has on the inside a fold down seat section and they call them troop seats so the troops their butts sitting on the fold down part their back is up against this and their feet are sitting down here in the middle of the cargo bed which means the spare tire will probably get relocated uh, we have what they call an airlift bumper to put on the back. It's going to cover up our backup lights. So these two little, uh, that one's discolored pretty bad, these little LEDs right here and here. I flip a switch when I put it in reverse and it turns those on because you'll see we have the red turn signal and running light, but there's no white backup light there. These are a little, I don't know if they're infrared or what, but little... Um, lights for when you're running in blackout mode uh, those aren't backup lights so these are our backup lights and uh, that airlift bumper is going to go all the way across and cover all of this up but it'll give us new mounting opportunities on the bumper itself let's see on this side i have an antenna mount that i was going to put that antenna on but i'm not sure if i'm going to do that so this actually gives us a light mounting option uh, where you know we could put uh, any number of different configurations mount a light onto that and then I can put another one right here on this side uh, I already have that mount so that gives us uh, a couple different opportunities there uh, obviously I got the little backup camera here in the middle I think these are probably our best bet for mounting any kind of work light or anything because once that side rail with the fold down troop seats are reinstalled, none of this area is gonna be available. 
and you can see with the top we don't have any place where metal is sticking through everything is cloth uh, except for this bar and this little uh, vertical section here in the middle there's actually um, this is a flat piece under here see we've got the rear wall and then the top so we have a little flat here and in here you know, we could even make a bracket that that screwed into this and uh, wrapped around on top of that so that it stuck out here if we wanted to put you know mount some sort of light on that uh, never seen anyone do that but you know just kind of thinking out loud here look at the inside and what we have here one of the questions was what does the top look like inside how does it mount and then you know, this is soft top this is our a pillar see that all the way across we have these two soft top support beams one here one back there and then the b pillar here and the c pillar in the back this is kind of roll bar ish you know kind of structural this front one is kind of structural the one in back it'd probably be strong enough to hold some lights but that is no roll bar that is uh, really just there to hold the back of the top up it's not really structural and if you're wondering this is an experiment which you see with the pool noodles um, when the new top went on it it pooled water on top and leaked when it rained and this is an experiment to see if putting some foam up here to raise it up would keep it from pooling so it didn't leak and it's actually worked incredibly well so well that I am investigating where to get some black I don't know maybe pipe insulation some sort of foam just not blue and turquoise and yellow uh, to replace this so that we can permanently amount some foam in here to hold the top up and keep it from leaking all right let's look uh, right up here you see this is our LED rope light all right so it comes back to this switch that turns our interior light on and off and uh, this one does the backup camera up here and then this is the backup lights so anytime I put it in reverse I just flip both of those on and I can see the camera and I have my backup lights so people know I'm coming back and when I'm done I flip it off um, this is the left side facing LED and the right side the silver ones were going to be the 24 volt for the 52 inch light bar that's up top for the infrared light underneath here is where we have a negative bus bar and then a fused distribution panel so it has 12 volts coming in off of the converter so there's our two big honking 12 volt batteries run together so that they give us uh, 24 and then we have a little buck converter back here bringing 24 in putting 12 volts out and that wiring goes uh, underneath and comes up through here and feeds up under that panel and runs the four different uh, 12 volt sockets and then all the different switched items as well that's what we have so i'm open to any ideas for different ways of mounting switches different interior light solutions whether it's infrared white light green light red light uh, you can see we got a couple ram mount items in here there's a phone holder a phone holder a cup holder we've got some mounts for cameras and we can put them on the, the different bars and things as well. So when we're filming, uh, you know, as we're out driving around, we can do that. Uh, we've got the black rack secure weapons mount systems. We can mount two uh, rifles in here and lock them down so they're secure. So we've got a, a lot of things going on in here and uh, a lot of opportunities. If you're part of Gear Report Nation, you have any thoughts or comments or ideas or whatnot, let me know. I'd love to hear what ideas you have you know if you if you were working with one of the top uh, led off-road light companies in the world what would you look to do to your ride um, maybe we'll be able to do it to this one and uh, tell you how it works out and uh, for the folks at that uh, as yet unnamed lighting company let me know what thoughts and questions you have if there are any other angles or any other items that you want to get a better look at, uh, certainly let me know. All right, that's it for now. Please, if you like this video, why don't you subscribe to the Gear Report channel? You're probably watching on YouTube, so click subscribe. And uh, you, know, you can click the little bell icon. That'll mean you get notified whenever we post new stuff. If you want more detail, oftentimes 
uh, we kind of gloss over some things in the video review and we go into more detail in our written review. So you can go to gearreport.com, gear-report.com. You can find all of our written reviews in more detail there. Feel free to ask questions in the video description on the website or in our Facebook page, Twitter, uh, Instagram, any of those places you can find us. We're happy to chat with you, answer any questions you have there. I got to go shoot some more videos. Until next time, We'll see you at the range.